God sent his son to be the comforter. Now, what do I mean the comforter? Well, John chapter 14, verse 16, right? I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter. Now, so when Jesus prayed the Father, it was in John chapter 17. You can read in verse 22, as I said earlier. It's, I in them, and thou in me. So who was in us as disciples? I in them is Jesus Christ in us. That's why Paul said over and over again, Christ in you, the hope of glory, and that kind of thing. And so... I will pray the Father, and he did that, and he prayed for himself to be in his disciples. He shall give you another comforter. That's why it's the spirit of truth. It's truth's spirit. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that's why he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will come to you. I will not leave you comfortless. And so if you go to this word comforter and you right-click and search for it, I'm just going to do it again in case anybody forgets, it only occurs five times. I will bring this up big, and you can see that five times this word comforter is used. And it's in John one time, John the second time, John the third time, John the fourth time, and written by John the fifth time. And this word advocate is the same identical word as comforter. I will triple click it, and you're gonna see that it's parakletos. Just like if I close this, triple click it right there, it's gonna be parakletos, the same exact word, okay? And so this word, we have an advocate, or we have a parakletos, we have a comforter with the Father. Who is it? Jesus Christ, okay? So the New Testament has given the Holy Ghost a name. It has given the comforter a name. It has given the Holy Spirit a name. It is Jesus Christ, and that's the one that the Father promised to send.